Grade 4 Math, number 32. Learn the parts of a division equation. Division equations are split up into three parts. There's a dividend, a divisor, and a quotient. A dividend, a divisor, and a quotient. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. That's how you would read this. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. What you're doing is taking 6 items and dividing it into 2 sets. See? It's 2 sets. 2 sets of 3. 1 set, 2 set. You've got 6 things, 6 blue dots, divided into 2 equal sets. See? That puts 3 in each set. The 6 is the dividend, the 2 is the divisor, and 3 is the quotient, the answer. All right? In a long division problem, which is written this way, we have half of a square, and on the inside is the dividend with the divisor on the outside, and the quotient is written on top. See? In this one, the dividend is first, and then you write the divisor. In this one, it's the other way around. We ask ourselves, how many times can 2 fit into 6? See? Or, if you had 2 parts of 6, how many would be in the parts? So 2 and 3 are factors of 6, because 2 times 3 equals 6. And that's an important thing to remember, that 2 and 3 are factors. See the OR at the end? That is going to help us. And so is the D's in dividend. If you want to remember which is the divisor, the dividend, and the quotient, it's very easy. The dividend is the number to be divided. And if you look at dividend, it has three D's, and so does divided. So dividend is divided, all right? It's the number to be divided. They both have three D's. The divisor is a factor. They both have O-R. See that? So just remember that the divisor is a factor. The quotient is the answer. There's not much I can do to help you on that, except maybe that the Q in quotient looks a little bit like an A if you take the tail away as an answer. Okay, well, the last thing to tell you is sometimes it's not an even amount. Sometimes there's numbers left over after we divide. If we had 7 and we split it into two equal parts, we would have three in each part, but we'd have a remainder of one left over, see? We can put three in this one, three in that one, but we can't put that one anywhere. It's, a, it's one that's left over. So we would say the answer is three remainder one, or three R1. So a remainder is an amount that we have left over after we divide. If we did it in the long division way, it would be written like this. Two goes into seven three times. 2 times 3 is 6, we do our subtraction, 7 take away 6 is 1, that's our leftover remainder, our answer, quotient, is 3 remainder 1. So those are the parts of a division problem. We've got dividends, divisors, quotients, and remainders. Try to learn each one. Try to remember that a dividend has 3 Ds and a divisor has an OR ending just like factor. And I'll see you in the next video, because we're going to start dividing. Bye.